like I always thought that I always thought that this area out here was kind of strange in that it really serves no purpose. I mean, there's a couple of there's a couple of notes that you can pick up here. There's the uh, there's the painting easel over there that's got a note on it. There's a um, there's a book right there standing on a table that has a note on it. You've got the mine entrance that you know doesn't do jack, and you've got these uh, these wonderful trees and everything. All right. So, um, let's have a look around. What do you say? Can't hurt to just have a look around. And by have a look around, I mean let's form a grid, let's work a search area, Let me read these notes again just to make sure I'm not being obtuse. Dr. Edmonds asked me to write in here during my therapy sessions and not at home because I haven't been filling out my book when I am on my own. I told her I did not want to do it anymore, but she insisted that I do it because it will help me remember things. I just want to paint and don't want to write. Colors make it clearer. They make everything clearer for me. Today I'm going to paint the view from out the window. Then Dr. Edmonds says Jim is going to come and pick me up and take me back to the care home. Thomas. It's not really shaking anything loose for me. Although that says that it's the path to Pinwheel Industrial, it's actually the path to Pinwheel uh, Village. Traumaza says take out the metal detector and scan the area. <laughs> I fucking love there's a TV commercial that plays uh used to play years ago here in the uh, here in the states and it was a television commercial for like getting your own metal detector and getting involved in the lifestyle of being like one of those guys who goes to the beach with a metal detector and you know I don't know digs up you know nickels or something and um <laughs> this, you know, dumpy white guy, slightly balding, cop stash, uh, you know, wearing like, you know, khakis and a blue button up shirt. I mean, you know, just the lamest human being that, you know, you can you can imagine. Just picture that. And that's that's this guy. So anyway, um, the long and short of it is that um, the long and short of it is, is that, you know, he's talking about, you know, how. It's this, uh, it's this great hobby, and um, he uh, he says, you know, my wife always said I needed a hobby. She's proud of the weight I've lost. As he pats his, and, and you know, this is coming from a guy who could stand to lose a few pounds. Me, I'm talking about. This is coming from a guy who could stand to lose a few pounds. And this guy, you know, this guy, you know, slaps his, you know, like 30 pound beer gut. He goes, she's proud of the weight I've lost. And she's even more proud of this. And he like holds up a picture. He like holds up this like costume jewelry, you know, gaudy gold ring that he's found. <laughs> it always just used. I mean, it used to like bring me to tears. It was just so terrible. I just remember thinking about like whoever put this commercial together, and like how they must go home and cry themselves to sleep at night, knowing that this thing got got on the air. All right. Sheldoner says, "What's under the bridge?" Uh, well, I'll I'll be happy to tell you. Uh, under this bridge is a. Uh, is a little bit of debris and not too much else. 
a little bit of a dam kind of thing going on. Hey, what do you know? The jump, the jump feature worked. That's like only the second time in the game it's worked. Uh, half the time you jump and you can't get up on top of anything. I'm actually a little bit uh, wary about going down there because I don't want to get stuck. Warpixel, greetings. How are you, sir? Under this bridge, um, there is... Nothing. Stone archway kind of thing. Holy shit. There it is. <laughs> Sheldon, I uh, I need to ask you, did you know that? Did you know that was there? Were you were you leading me to that or were you just asking because you suspected or just had a curiosity? War Pixel, I'm doing much better now because this stupid thing right here, the entrance to Brimcliff Mine, I have been looking for this for, I shit you not, an hour. When did I start this stream? Hold on. Did I start this stream? Did I start this stream at 4 o'clock? Have I been searching for this for two hours? Have I just lost two hours of my life looking for this? God. You remember how, you guys remember how I said that um, playing this game was like really awesome because it gave you a sense of empowerment and it made you feel, I guess it's just been one hour, hasn't it? I don't know. It, it, playing this game was really great because it gave you a sense of empowerment. The the sense of achievement you feel, you, you felt when you... Um, when you bested one of these puzzles uh, that the game laid laid out in uh, in front of you, um, so an hour and a half, uh, the sense of achievement and empowerment you felt from besting one of those puzzles was really really great. The downside to that, the valley to that peak, is that when you fail miserably at the game. And you don't find the stupid fucking entrance to the mine because it's camouflaged by mist and gray rock and you walk past it like a dozen times and still don't see it. When that happens, you basically feel ass raped. I feel ass raped. An hour and a half... But we got here. I want to thank everybody uh, who helped with this because I didn't. I didn't find that. I mean, I, I didn't. You know, like I didn't come across an. Oh ho! What's this? Uh, that was that was several of you guys telling me. Oh, you were warm over there. Oh, you should go back here. And Listen, that was you guys. Thank you. What? Oh, that's encouraging. Thanks. So here we are. We finally made it into the Brimcliff Mine. I want to go back to the case real fast. Brimcliff. There it is. Was that there before? Was No, that was not filled in. That was not filled in. Because I was going to say, like, I'd be looking for a fucking hole in the side of the mountain if I'd seen that. All right, so we're in Brimcliff. Five, which means there's five projectors to restore and eight ribbons to collect. Let's get started, shall we? Let's not take anything for granted. We're just going to look around here. That's awfully modern looking caution tape in this mine from antiquity. Alright, I'm excited. I'm really excited because there are there are puzzles to be solved, and I, I love that shit. This is one of two entrances into the mine. It looks as if it's in some state of disrepair. Every search on the web brings me up more of the same. A great disaster happened here. There is a huge event of some kind. 
made, and then all of the information seems to dwindle. I'm trying to find some more information for you. All right, so a couple of things are, are jumping out at me right now. Number one, we've seen this uh, we've seen this valve control before back in the Devlin mine. As a matter of fact, there's a diagram for it uh, right over here. Devlin mine beam engine diagram. Um, and then you've also got uh, this right here, which uh, this original diagram, like I said, this is from Devlin. This is from one of the first areas of the game. Um, I don't think the configuration is exactly the same. That one has got a high one on the left. Like this high one here is like over here on the left. This one, let's see, this is it's got five. Mid, low, high, low, mid. So this is similar, but it's missing. It's missing a uh, missing a turn, a turny thing, a, a a valve, a valve wheel, turny thing. Stupid. Please ensure all valves are in correct position before activating lever. I'm assuming that's the lever they're talking about. Let's see what this note says. I don't think I understand. I don't think I want to. It's all underwater now, and nothing is left. No voices. No whispers. No knocking. No life. The look on her face when I told her. She already knew. It was so loud when it happens, I think they all knew. All gone. It could have been me. Thomas Fletcher. Now, of course, from uh, from playing the game... Um, there's a projector. From playing the game uh, up till this point, uh, we know that in the Brimcliff mine, there was an explosion uh, that caved in the mine and flooded. 23 people died. And there is heavy, heavy suggestion in the industrial center that the person responsible is a Sean, last name starts with V, who was a disgruntled worker and who uh, who stole presumably like in explosives, supplies, etc., and uh, and detonated the mine on May 1st, uh, which is the May Day celebration. He was angry about, among other things, that he had been accused of stealing. Uh, mining equipment, and also that uh, his request to have May Day off so he could spend it with his family was denied. Attention all workers. Yesterday, a very serious accident occurred. Two miners, George Frost and Benjamin Hemingway, used transportation skips to access Brimcliff Mine from the industrial center. Due to their reckless behavior, the extra weight caused the skip to derail and crash whilst crossing the bridge that leads to the compression units. This caused the bridge to collapse into the cavern below. If I find anyone using the skips again, they will be fired. We are lucky no one was seriously injured. Warden. I don't know what the term skips refers to in this context. I don't know if that's like the, the mine carts or, or what. What do we got here? Looks like a pipe. smoking pipe. Let's uh let's take this back. Tobacco for the pipe. I think I might already have a tin of that, but we'll take it back anyway. Uh you know what? I'm actually going to start a well, I was going to say I was going to start a new shelf, but I've already kind of used that one. Uh, MV is warning everybody in the chat room, uh, major spoilers in this area, if I remember well. So, for those of you not interested in, uh, in having anything spoiled, uh, you, might want to, uh, you might want to heed that warning. Engine issues. Mining Warden, I noticed that our engines weren't pumping the water out of the mines as they ought to. This is bearable for the meantime, but sooner or later, especially the deeper we go, water is going to become a serious problem if it doesn't get pumped out effectively. I've repaired most of what needs to be done but I just need one more component to get it up and running effectively. I hope no flooding occurs before I can get a hold of it. I inquired with Ken Lewis in repairs, but he says I'll need to order it in. I just thought I'd let you know the situation, A. Westerman. Uh, I would like to think, I would like to believe that the one component he needs is the piston that is in my possession. There's ore tramming. <laughs> we spent some, we had some fun times in ore tramming, didn't we? All right, let's see what we got here. A knocker. Probably going to need that for these pipes right here. Gas mask, can't wear. Note. Notice regarding knocking pipes. Recently there has been...